This juvenile bull is doing what only a few rare shark species can do. One thing that makes the bull shark unique from many other shark species is that they have the ability to tolerate fresh water. And to me, that makes them truly an incredible predator. When a bull shark makes the transition from the ocean into rivers, fresh water moves through its gills into its body. A lot of other sharks can't do this because their cells will absorb too much water and essentially explode and the animal will die. Well, the bull shark is different. It has highly specialized kidneys, which rapidly process the fresh water and get rid of it. Their urine rate increases up to 15 times, which means they're just constantly flushing that fresh water out of their system. Bull sharks can swim in rivers. The question is why? This shark leads them five miles up the river and into the heart of the jungle. Then, after two hours of tracking, they lose the signal. But Craig thinks he knows why they're here. This was a juvenile shark, and it moved straight up river. And this makes perfect sense to me. I mean, there's a lot of big sharks along the coastline, and these small sharks are incredibly vulnerable to these large sharks. Some shark species eat their young, including bull sharks. They'll devour anything they can get their teeth into. So it makes sense that young bulls might move up river to get away. So these juvenile sharks could be utilizing these upper reaches of the river to escape these big predators. And also, there's an abundance of prey, and if there's less big sharks, there's less competition. The upper reaches of this river may be a perfect place for young bull sharks to avoid being eaten by their own kind. Except for one little detail. All they've done is swap one set of killing jaws for another, because here, the crocodile is king.